Okay guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how to open uh, a CSV file with R and it's really pretty simple and and I'm already in the in the R control it's right here and the command that you want to use is read.csv then I use this file that choose command in here which let me choose the location of the file and usually in my data I have a header so I'm using header equals to T T stands for true and CSV is generally a comma separated file so this set means separated and I'm saying we have commas in between my data file and I'm storing my data in the variable D and if you do that and hit enter you see here is my pop-up window and I have a data file right there hw1 underscore data I'm gonna select that and just open it and you see you see, you have the new line so as I said the red ones are the instructions that you give to R and if it's blue is something that you get back so it's the output so now if I want to see what's D so I can type just D and I see it's got like 153 rows of data and I can scroll back up and it's it's actually from one of the uh, exercise files that I'm, I'm working on on a course a course online now uh, what else, the other thing you can do you can you can like try type print in bracket D it will do the same thing for you it's gonna print out the whole data set and there are a couple things that 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 are really important to know one is a summary command once you open your data you can do the summary command and, and want to look at the summary you do just summary and then in bracket D it's actually going to give you your your variables from the header file like you have one variable called ozone then solar dot r wind temperature month and day and it also gives you the minimum the first quarter median maximum and if you're missing any data points and it will list how many data points you're missing because it's going to it's always going to create uh, a matrix a data matrix of equal number of rows equal number of columns in every row so if you're missing value in any 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 row for any particular column it's going to give you a NA so in ozone my NA is 37 so I know that if I look back in my data file there should be 37 NA's in my ozone column and solar column I have 7 NA's and in, in the other 4 columns I should not have any missing values at all the other thing we do is the str and then we do d and it gives me another way to look at the data so it's like it, it's a short form for structure and it's telling me that d is a data frame it has got 153 observations and it's got six variable and it also tells me what kind variable are there like the dollar ozone is an integer and it, it also lays a, a bunch of values from the very beginning going down to the bottom and then dot 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 that means it just continues more and more so you see it's only the win is a number variable and everything else is is integers all right okay now let's think about now what what can you do with the data okay now we have a file or a data frame D where I have all those uh, all those different numbers all the data set that's already loaded in D the other thing you can do with it before I before I proceed to how to use the variable, let's do one more thing. It's it's a command called fix, 
and if you do fix then D in bracket it's gonna give you like an Excel like spreadsheet looking thing a box here and in reality you can actually edit your numbers in here like I can change the 72 to whatever I like and edit this to the data set right here from this window so that's another uh, quick and dirty command that you should probably, probably need to know and let's exit out of this and let's go back and and, and do the structure one more time Structure D, and we have all those different uh, variables. So anything that has got the, uh, the dollar sign next to it is 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 a variable. Okay. So first, how to access? Let's say we just want to talk about. We just want to look at the ozone. Okay. If we do dollar ozone. It's it's telling me it's 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 an error. It's unexpected dollar sign. So what's wrong? Let's do D. That's the actual actual object, and then dollar zone. Is it gonna work? Yeah. There we go. So if you if you actually if you can just call your variable you have to specify your object then call your variable so you get your all the numbers okay so now we can do something like main then dollar then ozone now oh, oh what's wrong it's again saying, oh, we didn't do the dot, uh, the the object D in front of our command. So now we have it right. Let's try it now. But now it says N A. Oh uh oh, what's going on here? Let's look at our summary one more time. Summary of D. If you do that, you see we actually we actually have a mean which is 42.13 for the ozone but you did have 37 in a so when you are trying to do your main with that command that we just did before like main dollar up ozone it's trying to actually use your in a values also so that's why you are getting getting the in a not available output so you need to figure out how to tell r not to use any of the MA values for your mean calculation. Now, I'm not going to talk to you about how to fix that. Rather, I'm going to talk to you about how to access access the variables. Let's let's do um, a mean on temperature, maybe. Let's try that. So to get that, I'll do mean, then day, then dollar. DEMP and let's see if we get a value. Yeah, that's 77.83007. And if you look at the summary that we did, my main is 77.83, so it, it matches. Okay, now it's likely that you will have a, a longer variable name than just D. So every time you want to accept your variable, it you have to type out a lot of different words like data or variable one stuff like that and then dollar then your variable so there's another quick and dirty way to to access your variables and that is using attach now let's let's let me show you how to use that now if you use attach command like you're attaching your object d to the r console now it's attached now if you do d you still it will print you get the same printer of, printed of your whole database but the good thing about attach now you don't have to use any of your dollar signs with your variables like for the temperature i can just type temperature and la la here we go i can get all my temperature values from here so if i'm writing a code like if i'm trying to calculate median for the temperature I don't have to go through defining the 
the object and then the variable nothing like that no dollar sign i'll just do medium and temperature and here we go i have 79 so it, it's 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 pretty interesting and pretty useful too and unless if you have a super huge database you can use use the use the attach method to do your calculation in the cap in, in the console now one thing to remember that that you probably want to detach when you are done with with the data or it's going to make a mess and consume a lot of memory of your computer so be careful well that's all for this uh, video and I hope you have learned something uh, and I'll be, I'll be posting some more videos this is my first one so uh, please comment and, and just ask me if you have any questions thank you very much for watching